guys, welcome back to my channel. This is like my third time doing this because I keep mixing up my words. We are back with another facial self tanner review and today we have a little special one because I think this is brand new. It is the Isle of Paradise Face High Glow Self Tan Serum. I think I saw that this was new on Sephora, so I literally grabbed it like that second. I'm so excited to try it. So that's what we're gonna be testing out and talking about today. Before we do, please make sure to give this a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel. If you love tanning as much as I do, then definitely make sure to subscribe. But if you wanna see my review of the new Isle of Paradise Face High Glow Self Tan Serum, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, so as usual, I'm just going to go over the details about this and then we're going to actually apply to my face and see how we like it. So basically, it comes in this really, really adorable blue bottle and it's glass, so pretty good quality if you ask me. Just don't drop it and shatter it. So basically on the front, it says Isle of Paradise, vegan friendly, cruelty free, and organic, which we already know and love about Isle of Paradise. So it says face high glow self tan serum with hyaluronic acid, which I love because I know a lot of people incorporate hyaluronic acid into their skincare routine, me included. So this will be really, really nice on the nights where I'm applying a facial self tanner and I'm not applying the rest of my skincare because it's still giving me that hyaluronic acid that I want and need. So awesome. And then it just says, hello, hydrated glow. And it says it's 1.01 fluid ounces. So of course, standard size for a facial self tanner. I also have it pulled up on the Sephora app just so I can read all those details for you guys. The price is $32. So. Again, typical for Isle of Paradise products. I feel like they're all in that range of pricing, which has been standard, which I've noticed as far as self tanners go. So I'm not mad about the price, especially since it has hyaluronic acid in it. It's a nice little feature. And then for the details, it just says, a hydrating self tan serum with hyaluronic acid that is formulated for daily use to leave skin with an illuminated finish. It is a serum. It's good for pretty much all skin types, normal dry combination and oily. And then the highlighted ingredients in there are hyaluronic acid, grapefruit oil, and avocado oil. So the grapefruit oil is supposed to brighten and calm. And then the avocado oil is supposed to condition the skin with vitamin A and C. So really, really cool. And then it says the serum's vegan hyaluronic acid delivers intense hydration for a brighter, visibly plumper, dewier complexion. It is infused with Isle of Paradise's signature complex of plant-based oils, so skin is left looking nourished and healthy. The serum also contains just the right amount of tanning actives for the ultimate paradise glow. That sounds so amazing. And if it's anything like all of the other Isle of Paradise products, I already know that I'm going to absolutely love it. I'm already expecting this to be very good, but of course I will be honest if there's something wrong with it too. So that's all it says on the Sephora website. And then on the back here, I know it had directions. So it says, get set glow, apply four to 12 drops directly to the face. More drops equals deeper tan, obviously. And then it also says it lasts 12 months, so I do like that it lasts a whole year. I have a whole year to use this up, and you guys know at this point I have quite a few self tanners, so I can appreciate the longer lasting products. So the actual self tanner, it has this little seal on it, which I also really like, means nobody's been using my self tanner before me. It's brand new. So I'm just peeling this seal off. And then I want to see if the inside stuff is actually this blue or I think it might just be the bottle unfortunately the liquid is blue oh my god look you can't really see it that well in the camera but it's like a light blue it's so pretty all right I'm already super excited and the first thing I'm noticing about this that I love already I don't know how well you guys can see it but it has this like it's like a plastic 
ring in here. So when you stick this in there, you push it in. So it doesn't like fall in and out. You can kind of control. So I really, really like that about it. And then let me see if it has a smell. Okay, so it's not much of a smell. It's really, really subtle, but it has kind of like a refreshing, almost like cucumber smell, which I like that smell. So I'm not complaining about it at all. And I really like that it's super subtle. Like I don't want any kind of strong smells. I prefer no smell, but if there has to be a smell in it, then this won't bother me, at least for now. I think I covered everything I wanted to though for now, so let's just apply this on my face and then I will give you guys my initial thoughts and opinions and then of course we're gonna sleep on it, come back tomorrow and I'll tell you everything. So let's get started. And I'm gonna do the full 12 drops because we wanna be tan, so I'm doing 12 drops of this, okay? Ready? All right, so I do really love how it feels on my face right now. I'll say that right off the bat. The consistency of it is actually really interesting. Like it does feel like a serum, but it's almost like a little bit like, not gooey, that's like a gross word to use, but it's like a little bit like thicker. So I definitely would say the consistency of this is pretty unique, but in a good way. Like I actually liked the thickness of this. And I love the fact that it was so easy to spread out. Like I feel like I was really able to cover every little area of my face, or at least I hope I was. <laughs> I always get nervous that I forget this spot or like right under my chin. So I really made sure to scrub in those areas. But as far as consistency, I really like it. As far as smell, I'm literally not noticing anything now that it's on my face. Like when I smelled it in the bottle, I could smell a little something, but after applying it on my face, it's like nothing. Like I can't notice a single thing. It feels really soft on my face too. Like it has a tiny, teeny, teeny, teeny bit of stickiness to it, but it's like almost nothing. And I like that it's clear as usual. I prefer my facial self tanners to be clear. Overall, there's not really anything that I disliked about it. Nothing that I noticed that I would have a complaint about. I feel like it really hydrated my skin. So, so far I'm loving it. So far I'm happy with it. But of course, that's just an initial opinion. We will see tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep with this on. And then once I wake up, I'll wash it off, let it develop for a little bit, and then I'll come back and show you guys what the final result looks like, and I'll give you my final thoughts and opinions on it. So I'm gonna sleep on this, and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. I am back, and I definitely have some thoughts about this. So as you can see, my face isn't really that tan. I feel like this did give me a little bit of color, but not really what I was expecting, to be honest, just because all of the other self tanners that I've used from Isle of Paradise have given me really good color, actually. So I was kind of surprised when I woke up this morning and I was like, it didn't really make that much of a difference, to be honest. So if I were to compare these to the drops that like you put in a moisturizer and then apply to your face, I feel like the drops gave me so much more color than this did. So if you're somebody that likes a more natural kind of self tan, this would probably be a good one for you because don't get me wrong, it did give me color, just not as much as I wanted. And I did the maximum amount of drops that it says to put, which was 12. So that was just a little bit disappointing. One thing I will say though is when I woke up this morning, my skin felt super soft and plumpy and it just like looked good. So I really, really love how this made my skin look and feel in that aspect. But as far as like the color goes, not my favorite, just flat out. I feel like there are self tanners from this brand that I like more than this but I really, really wanted to love this because first of all, I love this like light blue color. I love everything about the packaging of this. Like I want to keep this front and center on my vanity. I just love everything about this, but the outcome I got wasn't really 
what I was expecting, if that makes sense. Like I just, you guys know me, you know I love to have a good dark self tan and I just wish it would have matched the rest of me a little bit better. Like I almost feel like the rest of my body is really dark and then it looks like I just didn't apply any self tanner to my face, like just comparing my face to my body right now. So that's just, it sucks. The smell, again, really was not there throughout the night. But if you guys are anything like me and you like seek some good color, this is not going to give you like what some of the other ones have given me. So I do like it. It's just, I don't love it. And I probably won't be choosing this over another facial self tanner because other ones have given me a lot more color. That's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, every Thursday I come out with new self tanning videos. So you definitely want to make sure that you're staying tuned for those. If you love self tan, if you love makeup, then those go up every Tuesday and Saturday. But please make sure to comment on this video. Let me know what you guys think about the self tanner. Let me know about the color it gave me. If you have tried this, also let me know your thoughts. Make sure to give this a big thumbs up for me and please subscribe to my channel. It always means the world to me when you guys are subscribing and commenting and liking and everything. So thank you so much in advance if you do. But stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.